He was a group of souls waiting in line to be reincarnated. But that judging standard was not good or evil. But whether you were rich or poor in your lifetime, a wealthy man offered his burial treasures, earning him the qualification for eternal life. Next, an elderly woman offered a ring, resulting in instant incineration. Then, it was the turn of a beautiful girl, who couldn't even produce a single ring and burst into tears. At that moment, the god of death, Anubis, appeared with the girl's lover, taking out the love god's bracelet to secure his reincarnation qualification. However, the gateway to reincarnation was suddenly destroyed, and the realm of the dead was invaded by a powerful force. To become even stronger, the current ruler of Egypt, the god Set, installed the brain of the wisdom god, the heart of Osiris, and the power eye of Horus, evolving into the most powerful god on the surface. He even defeated his father, the sun god, and took the sun scepter, plunging the sun god Ra into eternal sleep. Seizing the opportunity, Seb released the underworld serpent Apophis, hoping to gain eternal life by destroying the boundary between life and death. Now, Horus was the only hope to stop him, 